Everybody, welcome back. Thank you, kids. Um, so, we're going to look at uh, how to do some molarity calculations here. Sample of glucose, and we know that the sample has 0 0.019 moles of glucose in it. And it is in enough water so that we have 25 milliliters of solution. We want to know what is the molarity. Okay, so... Uh, as you go through these things, again, it's going to have a process of saying, okay, what is given to you? What do we know from the question? What is given is that we have 0 0.019, and the key is moles. And we also have 25 milliliters of solution. And S-O-L apostrophe N is the abbreviation for solution. So just a stupid chemistry thing. Um, what does the question want you to find? you got to look for those question words. What is or calculate the or find the or something like that. So we want molarity. And that molarity is a capital M. Now, whenever there is some sort of calculation, then all, all you really need to do is go back to your equation sheet and say, okay, what equation or equations sometimes do I have where we are calculating something? Okay, so the equation for molarity is molarity equals moles over liters. Okay, so look at this question. Look at what we have, right? We already have the moles. And we do have a volume, but it's not in liters. So first step on this one is going to be to convert our milliliters into liters. And to do that, you just need to go back to what we learned in metric conversions. We know that um, you could say 1,000 milliliters equals one liter, or you may have heard or seen that 0 0.00 or one liter equals one milliliter, or flipping those backwards or forward. It doesn't really matter. Um, the key is you can write that as a fraction. Okay, so we got to do that real quick. So we have 25 milliliters, right? And we want that into liters. So if we do it as a conversion, right, multiplying by a blank fraction, if we want milliliters to cancel in a conversion where you have the multiply sign between them, then you need to have milliliters on the bottom. And then liters is going to be on top. I'm going to use this one right here. Uh, one liter is a thousand milliliters. So math wise, that's 25 divided by a thousand. Thousand means you're just going to move the decimal point three places smaller because you're dividing. So you should expect a smaller answer. You're going to get 0 0.025 liters. Now we can go back. We can look at our equation. We can say, okay, what do I know? Let's solve for that now. Okay. I know we're looking for molarity. The moles was already given to me, 0 0.019 moles. I now know the liters, 0 0.025 liters, and now I just simply take my calculator and I calculate. 0 0.019 divided by 0 0.025 equals point or 0 0.76. Now what are the units on this thing? Notice here we have moles on the top and we have liters on the bottom. None of those cancel out. So it's still just going to be moles per liter. And what this is saying to us is if we scaled this up to one whole liter, think of like a half of a two-liter bottle of pop. If you had half of a two-liter bottle of pop, that's how many moles of glucose would be in there. That's your concentration. It's how concentrated it is. The bigger this number, the more concentrated it is. Okay, so 